but you want my friend have an old-fashioned stalker on your hand. Congratulations! Today you're going home with a brand new car! Assalamu alaikum, another episode of Ask SQ. You ask, I respond. That's how this thing goes, and today, of course, we have another juicy question to answer. But before we go there, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We speak about a lot of topics that are definitely taboo, but at the end of the day, it always serves as an Iman booster. So let's get into this question. Assalamu alaikum. I once had an online relationship with a guy across the world. Uh -huh, a little long distance action I hear. We're only talking for a month and then he disappeared for a year. Usually when that happens is because his parents got him married to Parveen back in Pakistan. Shout out to Parveen. And it's always dodgy. Whenever someone disappears for a whole year and you try to hit him up and they don't respond, there's always something dodgy happening. So I'd be on the lookout automatically. I don't know what the rest is going to say, but I'd be on the lookout if I were you. I thought he was gone for good. Seems like he's going to come back. Now he comes back. How did I know? And he tries to sext me. Bro, that's so nasty. Like, look, I, I understand. So there's two things happening right now. From the guy's perspective, he clearly feels that he can do that and he might get away with doing that. My first question would be, well, have you guys done it in the past before? If you have, then he's only picking up where he left off. If you haven't done it in the past and he's just a creep and it's just like, bro, you got to build up to these things. You don't just drop him with a, hey, what's under that hijab of yours? Uh -huh. Hey, is the moon out? Because I want to be with you all lead. So I'd want to know, were you guys doing this before or was this something that just started right now because if he just started doing it now that he's super creepy but if he hasn't then he's just picking up where he left off that means yeah we're doing it before I'm so uncomfortable I try to delete myself from every social media I have that sucks the fact that you got to delete all your stuff for one really creepy perverted dude that's not cool I find a new way to do this if I were you but let's keep reading I blocked him on Instagram and I made a new Instagram Man, you're just deleting yourself with this guy. What you need to do is block this dude, report this dude, and when he messages you again, just keep blocking him and he'll get the message. But the worst thing that you can do is try to respond. A lot of times people think the best thing to do is respond and say, hey, leave me alone. No, you don't even leave them on scene. When it comes in your inbox and it says allow or decline, you always press decline. But I didn't decline your message. That's why, that's, that's why I'm reading this right now. I, I allow it. I allow the message. So do that. Don't keep deleting all your social media for this one creepy dude, man. Just like really find a new way. But don't delete your stuff and go through an inconvenience just to make it easy for him. In fact, that only puts more fuel to his fire. He's gonna be like, man, she knows she wants that sex and love. Only gonna wanna come at you even more because he's gonna think that he has a chance or a shot with you. Don't add fuel to that fire. Just ignore this person. And sometimes, depending on what country you're in, you're actually able to report it to the police as well. So look into the legal action that you can possibly take against this person. He always finds a way to text me. I blocked his number, but he keeps texting me with a new number. That sucks. This dude has nothing better to do. Probably Parveen back home dumped him. That's why he keeps coming back to you. You know it's bad when you, even your arranged marriages don't want to arrange themselves with you. But it seems like you need to take some legal action because this dude is very creepy and, uh, and that's extremely dangerous and not cool at all. He even got my friend's number. I don't know where he got them. I don't know what should I do about him. I need to move to a different country. I don't know, man. This guy seems like a professional stalker. That's what you have on your hand, my friend. A professional stalker. And people like this never really give up. You don't even respond to people like this. You can't even give them the time of day. You just gotta continue to decline them, continue to block them, try to report him to the authorities if you can, but you can't pay him any single mind. You just gotta keep blocking him, keep declining him, report him to the authorities if you can, but just don't message him. Don't leave him on scene nothing continue to block this live your life everything's gonna be fine but you want my friend have an old-fashioned stalker on your hand congratulations today you're going home with a brand new car it's just a crazy dude who has a thing for you and who has never gotten over it for you and uh probably a little sad that Praveen broke up with him yeah that's a little scary and i don't blame you for reaching out to me it shouldn't be ask sq it should be ask your local police because this is dangerous. Well, that was my advice for the sister. I want to know what would you advise this person? What advice would you like to give this person if they DM'd you? Tell us in the comments below. And inshallah, if you have no advice, at least make a dua for this person. Call the cops for this person. Tell us the story if this has ever happened to you. But give us some advice, man. We need the help. But if you have no advice, leave a beautiful comment for this sister. If you have a question which you would like to be featured on the show, all you gotta do is hit me up on any one of these platforms right here at Way of Life SQ. You ask, I respond. Until next time, I'm out.